Hey guys, Shafiru here and welcome to my YouTube channel. And in this video I'm gonna do the final week of February. Man, I can't believe it's almost, you know, March. But that's a whole different story. And truth to be told, unlike the last time, I'm doing the setup today. I have to be honest, I spent some time during the week between work, life and uh, commissions and all of those stuff to make the proper logo. Uh, still, because I'm in a February fantasy, uh, my whole idea was that, so I go to one of, I think it's a bit more complicated than the previous one. It's the logo from Final Fantasy 13. I like it when I saw it. I was like, oh, it's round, I can do it ASAP. Starting doing it, first of all, I have to say, I was like, oh, there's one face, oh, there's another face, oh, there's a horse, hmm, that will be interesting. So after spending some time doing all of those things and figuring out where I want to place it in the paper, in this case, in the bullet journal, I was like, okay, I think I got it, I have to squeeze my Friday tasks, but I just wanted to have the full logo on, on the paper. So that being said, I just have to point out that I'm using uh, my bullet journal from Notebook Therapy, Falling Stars, I love that bullet journal, but that's a whole different story. For watercolors, I'm using also my favorite Neva palette. Uh, custom, custom made. I made the arrangements of those colors by myself. Most of them are pasta colors, which I love and suited perfectly for all of those blending and not so much um, heavy on washes of the colors. And also for some extra colors, I use my Paul Rubens watercolors as well. So I had so much fun drawing this and at one point I was like okay do I need to add more details here or I don't want to so uh, when <laughs> I was starting to doing the course I was like okay I'm going full full head full steam ahead to be more more correct and I was like okay I'm happy when this is going and truth to be told, again, I just have to point out, if you're doing any kind of watercolors, my personal uh, experience is that use two separate uh, jars of water, one for the dirty one and one for the clean one. Uh, sometimes we tend to forget, me included, I'm not... Uh, unusual to that uh, particular moment to forget the, the, to use the clean water but still it's very important because otherwise you can have a mix of colors that you don't want to and to mess up your work so that being said again I added to have more vibrancy and to more uh, you know to be more pleasing to the eyes especially for me because I'm gonna use that uh, more pencils and to have some more details to the work and yeah I had so much fun doing this I cannot believe that it's almost March and truth to be told I'm very excited for the next team I cannot say anything more because if I do I will spoil you guys big time and I don't want to do that I'm excited and this week what I'm doing with also my regular work and commission work and my personal other works, I'm gonna spend some time developing the setup for March. But that's for the next video. So back to this video. After I finished what I wanted to to achieve with those colors, I decided to use my micron, which was also a purple one. But then I was like, no, no, no. I want to be cohesive with the whole team. So I go back to my kind of a light bluish, gray bluish uh, marker to add the contours because I wanted to be consistent with the whole team. And 
truth be told, I love the end result. It's just so pleasing, maybe because the first two uh, spreads from uh, February, my two first week of February, I wasn't so consistent and I didn't like them that much, especially the second week, uh, like I said in the previous video, I was kind of mad at myself because I didn't achieve what I wanted. But in the last two weeks, I go fully crazy in my own way. <laughs> and I'm so happy with the end result because it's complex. Also, I have my artistic input of these logos, just a small bit, to be honest. But overall, I like it because it's fantasy February, guys, still, at least for a week and a couple of days. But yeah, I just wanted to be pleasing to myself. And when I open it to say, okay, I like this, I am very happy with the end result. And when I finish this part of uh, laying, uh, adding the uh, final lines, I started doing the the more detailed work to add them a bit more details to all of the characters because if you look closely there are three separate characters in that logo two women and one horse and it was very um, interesting when I was drawing this and I have to go flipping through my bullet journal in every single way because I want it to be as accurate as I can, but also to have my personal input into it. So after I finished the logo, I made the simple layout, vertical, and just writing down the days of the week. My weekly starts from Sunday, which is today, <laughs> but still, I'm very happy and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel if you like what I'm doing I want to see more of behind the scenes because let's be let's face it I'm doing a lot of stuff go support me on patreon and I will have the links to all my social media and everything that I'm using in this video in the links in the description below so yeah talk to you guys soon bye